Scandinavian lead was discovered in January 1859 in central Victoria, surrounding the present town of Talbot. It was estimated that a thousand claims had been marked by mid-January. Unlike many rushes, this new lead was accessible only after blasting through 30 feet of basalt, the ancient lava flow from Mount Greenock. A population of 800 to 1500 was doubled and trebled in a matter of days. And on the 15th of February, the advertiser correspondent claimed that the rush to Back Creek has assumed gigantic proportions. Several thousand are already congregated on the spot, and every hour of the day, fresh bodies of miners are pouring in. Stalls and other places of business, as well as grog shanties, are being erected by its scores. And in short, all the signs are there which denote a monster rush. In April 1859, the rush to Scandinavian lead was being compared favourably with those glorious epics, the rushes to Maryborough in 1854, Dunolly in 1856, and Ararat in 1857, and in early March the cry, it will be as good as Fiery Creek, was perhaps the ultimate accolade. The depth and sinking of the Scandinavian lead was generally 15 to 20 metres, but progress was slowed by a layer of basalt, often 5 metres thick or more. Although often decomposed into boulders, blasting with powder was necessary and sometimes tragic in its consequences for the operator.